Hello. Today we're going to learn security engineering in certified information system security. Professional. In module three, we have these topics. Understanding security engineering principles and practices, security models and principles. Secure design principles and architecture. Security engineering refers to the process of designing, building, and maintaining systems that can withstand security threats and attacks. It involves applying principles and practices from various fields, including computer science, electrical engineering, and mathematics to ensure that systems are designed with security in mind. Some key principles and practices of security engineering include 1. Threat modeling. This involves identifying potential security threats to a system and determining how they could be exploited. Secure coding developers should follow secure. Coding practices. Practices to ensure that software is less vulnerable to attacks. 3. Security testing. Various types of testing should be carried out to identify potential security vulnerabilities and ensure that the system is secure. 4. Secure architecture. Systems should be designed with security in mind, with appropriate controls in place to protect against attacks. 5. Cryptography. Cryptography is a key component of security engineering. With encryption algorithms and protocols used to protect data in transit and at rest. 6. Security operations. Systems should be monitored and managed to ensure that they remain secure and that any potential security incidents are identified and addressed in a timely manner. Overall, security engineering is an essential component of information security, helping organizations to protect their assets and data from a wide range of security threats and attacks. Security models and principles are the fundamental concepts that guide the design and implementation of secure systems. These models and principles are used to ensure that the security of a system is maintained at all times and that the system can withstand attacks and other security threats. Some common security models and principles include colon 1. The CIA triad. This model focuses on the three core principles of confidentiality, integrity, and availability. Confidentiality refers to the protection of sensitive information, integrity ensures the accuracy and consistency of data and availability ensures that the system is accessible to authorized users too. Defense in depth, this model emphasizes the use of multiple layers of security to protect against attacks. Each layer adds an additional level of security, making it more difficult for attackers to penetrate either system. 3. Least privilege, this principle involves giving users and processes only the minimum access and permissions necessary to perform their tasks. This reduces the risk of accidental or intentional damage to the system by limiting the damage that a compromised user or process can do. Dot for dot separation of duties. This principle involves dividing responsibilities for sensitive tasks among multiple users. This reduces the risk of fraud or abuse by ensuring that no single user has complete control. Over the system.5. Secure by default, this principle involves designing systems and software with security in mind from the beginning. This means that security is not an afterthought, but rather an integral part of the design and implementation process overall. These security models and principles help to ensure that security is built into systems and processes from the ground up, rather than being added on as an afterthought by following these principles. Organizations can better protect their data and systems from security threats. One least privilege, a system should be designed to provide users and processes with only the minimum level of access required to perform their tasks. To dot defense in depth, a system should be designed with multiple layers of security controls to provide redundancy and protection against different types of attacks. 3. Dot secure defaults, a system should be designed with secure default settings and configurations to minimize the need for users to make security related choices. For dot failsafe defaults, a system should be designed to fail safely in the event of a security breach or other failure. 
rather than allowing attackers to gain control or access to sensitive information. 5. Separation of duties. A system should be designed to require multiple people or processes to perform critical tasks. To prevent any one person or process from having too much control or access. Point 6. Encryption. A system should use encryption to protect sensitive data both in transit and at rest. 7. Security testing. A system should be designed to undergo regular security testing to identify and address vulnerabilities and weaknesses. By following these principles and practices, designers and architects can build systems and networks that are more resistant to attacks and better able to protect sensitive data and assets. Thank you for watching you stay tuned for next part.